All right, well, good morning or afternoon, late afternoon. Um, I'm still in work at the moment and um, I haven't got much time to prepare uh, at home, so I'm doing it in work. <laughs> uh, you might see a few people walk past me now and again. But basically, um, I'm going to show you how to set up a rod on a, um, a rod and reel uh, with a float set up on the winder, fold it over and put together on the rod ready to go fishing. So when you go fishing, um, it'll save you the time of, uh, if you like, you know, threading the line through the, uh, uh, the eyes of the rod. Um, and unraveling it and setting it all up. Uh, it's, it does beat a winder. I mean, obviously, um, years ago, we used to put a lot of floats on winders, but now these days, the trend is to actually take the whole rod set up. Um, and I've, I'm setting up, I've got well, five or six rods now set up, ready to go when I go fishing on the weekend. Uh, and in this sh short video, you'll see me um, put the rod t uh, together, shot it up, Put a hook on, etc. Um, set the, um, a depth, and then um, I'll fold it up and I'll show you how I fold it up. Ready to go fishing. So when you go fishing, simple. Um, this is the future. This is the way that most of the professionals do it these days. So hope uh, you have a little insight um, into this. Uh, but before I uh, you, go indulge, I'm going to. Um, tell you a little bit about the history of this because many years ago when I fished in the world championships uh, in Sweden I never forget I was fishing um, a top afloat in a competition and I, I was casting further out than the pole the lads and I was beating them I was beating all the lads around me anyway an angler next to me um, and you know bear this in mind this is like 25 years ago 30 years ago um, this angler went into his rod bag he already had a rod um, his float already set up on a winder on the rod so what I'm going to show you is, you know, it's not new. It's, it's been done many years ago, but it's only recently that I suppose the UK anglers are starting to uh, get to terms in, in doing this. So anyway, okay, with no further ado, I'll carry on and see you in a bit.
Okay, well, you just see me uh, setting the rig up. It speeds up uh, for convenience. <laughs> and basically, um, I just put it on a wind, you know. I've got, uh, I've set it about uh, seven foot. Uh, the venue I'm fishing on the weekend is the, the Y. And I know a lot of the swims uh, that I'll be fishing will be between seven and ten foot. So I'll set to seven at the moment, so when I get to the, the venue, obviously, I'll be plumbing up. Now, uh, I'll show you quickly, uh, put it on the winder, uh, springer shots, obviously. Um, I then use a bit of insulation tape to secure that. Okay. Just twist it round a couple of times. Just pull it, snap it, and that will hold that together. Okay. Now, this is the secret now, is bending the rod into three, okay, because uh, this is a 15-foot uh, rod, so I'm going to bend it uh, back over to each other, um, like a Constantina, and I'll tape it up, and that'll all be ready to go fishing in. So, basically, just come back down the rod, double back on itself, So that's all together now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just wind a bit more line down. So about halfway down the rod. Uh, you could, could put it up to the, the top eye if you want to. Some people do. But I prefer to uh, have it in the middle, so to speak. So what I'm going to do is hold that together. Just wind it up to gather up the loose line okay now holding it all together I'm now going to put a tape insulation tape around uh, the float the winder and the rod so there you go that goes like that and that secures it together pull it off snap it there. so it's all set to go just place that into the rod bag ready to go fishing you could make that nice and neat by putting it together, but there. Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching that uh, short video, as I said. Uh, hopefully it'll uh, encourage you to do the same, certainly in competitions. Um, at the end of the competition, sometimes you can, you know, fold it back and sometimes uh, you can reuse it again. Uh, some anglers do that. Uh, in some cases, you just um, start to scratch when you've got time during the week when you're getting ready and prepared. Um, so, as I said, uh, this video will be on my new... Um, well, I'll put it on the both channels, but I got uh, I got an old channel that uh, I just rediscovered on YouTube, so I'm going to put it back on there uh, with with a lot of other little tips. So, uh, as I said, this is mainly for um, a channel that I'm going to show tips, fishing tips on. Uh, my my other channel, of course, I'll keep it open for vlogging, for uh, you know, um, and I, I'll probably switch back and forth from, from time to time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. Please subscribe. Please share the word. And if you want to see more tips than that, come back and see me soon.